Patrick Wannes. Let me hear you. And I'm going to need your help. But I have to warn you that every time and any time that I'm on this stage, I am going to be challenging you. I'm going to be testing you. I'm going to be pushing you. All right. How many of you saw the movie A Few Good Men with Jack Nicholson? Okay. So you all know the famous scene when Tom Cruise's character is pushing Jack Nicholson, Jessup, and saying to him, I want answers. And he says, you want answers? He says, I'm entitled. And he says, you want the truth? I want the truth. And what does Jack Nicholson say back to him? So one of my questions today is, can you handle the truth? Turn around to the person next to you and ask him the question, can you handle the truth? Every relationship begins with you. You need to unlearn all the lies, all the crap, all the BS that everyone taught you. Because when you were born, when? When you were born, you came out pure and happy and healthy. You didn't worry about the size of your hips or how big your boobs are or how small something else is. You didn't care if your hair goes gray. You didn't worry about, oh, my butt's too big. You didn't have fear. Children are born with only two fears. The fear of falling and the fear of loud noises. That's it. We don't have fear of rejection. We don't go, oh, will he like me? It's true that a baby will run to its mother for safety and security, but you notice how it openly smiles. It gives you a hug and doesn't worry about, will he like me? We don't go through that. Who taught you that? Who taught you to doubt yourself? Your parents, and that's what we're going to work on in a moment. If it wasn't your parents, it was your adult caregivers, or it was your siblings. But it all happened in your first zero to eight years. There are two parts to your mind. There's the conscious mind and the subconscious mind. You are basically born with a subconscious mind before your conscious mind evolves. That means the first five to eight years, you're like a sponge and you're absorbing everything. What are you doing? You're absorbing everything that you see, everything that you hear, and everything that you experience. And from that, you develop your belief systems. Unfortunately, your teachers also had terrible teachers. And that's what disease is. That's the only real part of you that is hereditary. The way that your parents pass down their pain, their torture, their crap to you and now you're going to pass it on to someone else unless you unlearn everything unless you what unlearn so let's start to find out who are you what are your relationships how do you feel about yourself it's wonderful to go oh you're amazing well that sounds great for 30 seconds but if I get you out there and put you one-on-one, -on -one, will you feel that inside? Will you look me in the eye and say, Patrick, I'm amazing? Will you say it with arrogance, with confidence, or with real congruency, with real belief? That's the goal of this entire seminar. To change the way you feel about yourself. To change your relationship with yourself. You see, the real key to happiness is quite simple. You can write this one down and remember it. Forgive, love, and accept yourself. Step two, forgive, love, and accept everyone else. And I'm going to really challenge you now. 
You don't have to do this, but write it down. Because your goal to be happy is to forgive the person you cannot forgive. The person you go, there is no way in the world I'm ever going to forgive that MF. <laughs> or PF or DF or whatever. Your goal is to forgive the person that you will never forgive. The person that you cannot even accept for a moment they, what they did or what they didn't do to you. You see, sometimes we get angry because someone did something to us. But most of us are crying inside for what our parents didn't do. For when mum wasn't there, dad wasn't there. They didn't come to my game. They didn't come to me when I was cheerleading. They didn't do this. They didn't do that. They weren't there. We are hurting just as much for the things that our parents didn't do as for the things they did do to us. Maybe they didn't protect you. Maybe they didn't stand up for you. Maybe they didn't give you something. Maybe they didn't hug you. The third key to happiness is freedom. Freedom of expression. Let's go back to the baby. When the baby's born, the baby's happy. The baby has no fear. The baby freely forgets and freely forgives and freely moves on and freely expresses itself. Whether it's screaming because it is hungry or hasn't got what it wants, or whether it's just smiling because it's happy. How many of you can do that? I bet you can't scream. <laughs> so let's do an exercise. You can do this with your eyes open or your eyes closed. What will set you free? And the truth is, you are worthy. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Patrick Wannis. Dr. Patrick Wannis, everybody. You. you are worthy. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. My pleasure. Woo! Was that hot or what?